China's lunar landing plan in 2030. On June 4, 2024, the China National Space Administration announced that Chang'e 6 completed sampling and took off from the back of the moon to enter the scheduled lunar orbit. For this reason, I checked in detail and found that China actually wants to realize the lunar landing plan in 2030. I feel a lot. In this video, let us introduce the Chinese Lunar Exploration Project from the initial project establishment, development process, and future planning. The China Lunar Exploration Project is a lunar exploration activity independently carried out by China, aiming to explore the mysteries of the moon, promote the development of aerospace technology, and lay the foundation for future human exploration and utilization of the moon. The China Lunar Exploration Project was established in 2004. The project is planned to be divided into three major phases, namely unmanned lunar exploration, manned lunar landing, and long-term lunar residence. In May 2023, it was announced that it plans to achieve the first landing on the moon before 2030. There are three phases of China's unmanned lunar exploration. The first phase is to achieve lunar exploration. The second phase is to achieve soft landing and automatic patrol survey on the lunar surface. The third phase is to achieve unmanned sampling and return. The current Chang'e 6 is the second lunar backside collection mission after the Chang'e 5 sample collection. Phase 1 of the Lunar Exploration Project, 2004-2007 In 2004, the State Council of China officially approved the establishment of the Lunar Exploration Project and named it the Chang'e Project. The Chang'e Project is divided into three phases, unmanned lunar exploration, manned lunar landing, and establishing a lunar base. The main task of the first phase of the project is to achieve lunar exploration, launch probes flying around the north and south poles of the moon, and conduct global remote sensing exploration of the moon. On October 24, 2007, Chang'e 1 was launched from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. On November 5th, Chang'e 1 implemented its first near-moon braking and was successfully captured by the gravity of the moon. On November 7th, Chang'e 1 successfully entered the lunar orbit, flew around the moon, and obtained China's first high-precision full moon map. This map has a resolution of 120 meters and was the most accurate full moon map published in the world at that time. On March 1, 2009, Chang'e 1 completed a controlled impact with the moon in the Mare Fertile and remained on the moon permanently, and the lunar surface also left China's mark for the first time. Lunar Exploration Project Phase 2, 2008-2013 The main task of the Phase 2 project is to achieve soft landing and automatic patrol and exploration and launch probes including landers and lunar rovers, to softly land on the lunar surface and conduct patrol and investigation. On October 1, 2010, Chang'e 2 was launched from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center as the pilot satellite of the Unmanned Lunar Exploration Project. In December 2012, Chinese scientists arranged for Chang'e 2 to date the asteroid to Tautis. When they were 3.2 kilometers apart, Chang'e 2 looked back and gazed at Tutatis, taking more than 500 photos. This is the first time that China has achieved a flyby detection of an asteroid, and it is also the first time in the world that a close-range detection of Tutatis has been achieved. Chang'e 2 is the only one of China's lunar probes that did not stay on the lunar surface or return to Earth. It flew to the depths of the universe and became China's first artificial satellite to orbit the sun like an asteroid. On December 2, 2013, Chang'e 3 was launched from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center to conduct a soft landing exploration of the moon. 
The Chang'e 3 probe carried the U-2 rover and softly landed in the Rainbow Bay in the northwest of the moon's Mare Imbrium. At 4.35 a.m. on December 15, 2013, U-2 took its first step on the moon. This is the first five-star red flag to land on the moon. In January 2016, the International Astronomical Union officially approved the naming of the area around the Chang'e 3 landing site as the Guanghan Palace. These names from ancient Chinese mythology have become a reality today in the hands of Chinese astronauts. On December 8, 2018, Chang'e 4 was successfully launched at the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. On January 3, 2019, Chang'e 4 successfully landed on the back of the moon, becoming the world's first probe to softly land on the back of the moon. On January 11, 2019, Chang'e 4 and U-2 2 successfully took photos of each other, and under the sunlight, China's five-star red flag once again shone on the moon. China's probe not only successfully landed on the back of the moon, but also realized the patrol and exploration of the back of the moon, which is also the first time in human history. Lunar Exploration Project Phase 3, 2014-2020 The main task of the Phase 3 project is to realize unmanned sampling and return, launch a soft lander, and automatically collect lunar samples and return them to Earth. On November 24, 2020, Chang'e 5 was launched to carry out the mission of collecting lunar samples. On December 17, the Chang'e 5 returner successfully returned to Earth with 1,731 grams of lunar samples. This is the first time that China has achieved sample collection from an extraterrestrial body. So far, the three-step plan of the Chang'e project Orbit, Land, and Return has come to a successful conclusion. At 6.23 on June 2, 2024, the Chang'e 6 lander and ascender combination, supported by the Keqiao 2 relay satellite, successfully landed in the pre-selected landing area of the South Pole Aitken Basin on the back of the moon. At 7.38 on June 4, 2024, the Chang'e 6 ascender took off from the back of the moon carrying lunar samples. Compared with the takeoff from the ground, the Chang'e 6 ascender does not have a fixed launch tower system, but uses the lander as a temporary tower. During the unmanned lunar exploration phase, China will also plan to launch Chang'e 7 and Chang'e 8. In 2026, Chang'e 7 is planned to be launched, with the main task of finding evidence of water on the moon at the south pole of the moon, and laying the foundation for the construction of an international lunar research station. In 2028, Chang'e 8 is planned to be launched, with the main task of exploring resources on the moon and experimenting with the reuse of resources. By then, Chang'e 8 and Chang'e 7 will form the basic framework of China's scientific research station at the south pole of the moon. In 2030, it is planned to realize the manned lunar landing plan. In 2040, a complete international lunar research station will be built to carry out solar terrestrial lunar space environment detection and scientific experiments, after that, an application-oriented lunar research station will be built to form a multifunctional lunar base. China's lunar exploration is a magnificent journey of pursuing dreams and a brilliant starlight shining in the vast universe. It carries the Chinese nation's thousand-year yearning for flying and writes a legend of courage and wisdom in the vast sky. Every time a rocket rises, it is like an exciting movement, every time the moon approaches, it is a shock to the soul. We have witnessed countless breakthroughs and miracles in China's lunar exploration and felt the passion and pride of exploration. China's lunar exploration is not only a leap in technology, but also a sublimation of the national spirit.
It allows the Chinese people's eyes to travel through the endless starry sky and the Chinese people's feelings to soar in the universe, and it will always inspire the Chinese people to keep moving forward towards the unknown and pursue the endless mysteries and glory. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.